Hi again. I'm so shocked to see that you're back for another video because I promise you, I don't know what I'm doing. So what are we gonna be talking about today? There's this star out there and I think it's pretty interesting. It, it kind of baffled and frustrated scientists for a little bit and we're gonna explain why. So there is a star that goes by HD 140,283, I believe. 140,283 or HD 14283. I, I don't know how they say this, whatever. Uh, it goes by another name called Methuselah Star. And let's just call that Methuselah for the duration of this video. One, because I'm not gonna keep saying that number. And two, because <laughs> Methuselah, it just sound dope. I mean. So the reason why this star got its name Methuselah is in reference to the character, or ooh, I don't wanna say character, it almost <laughs> makes it sound like a fake story or something. Um, but it goes by Methuselah due to the person in the Bible named Methuselah, who is known as one of the longest living people within the Bible. Why does that translate to stars? Why would they name a star Methuselah? Well, Methuselah is a star that is for some reason dated to be older than the universe. So yeah. When scientists discovered the star, they noticed that it was 16 billion years old whenever they dated it. And that immediately made them probably throw their telescope out the window. <laughs> Doubt it, it's probably a huge telescope. But that immediately made them just, you know, kick tires, be mad, angry, and want to burn things to the ground. Because the universe itself is 13.8-ish billion years old. So to have a star older than basically what we know as existence itself, that science don't like stuff like that. So how are they able to come to this conclusion? Well, there's actually a few different ways that we can look up a star and figure out what's going on with that thing. Some of the reasons or some of the ways that they go about it is looking at the luminosity, basically how bright it is, the color it is, and I believe maybe even like the flickering, I, I don't know, but there's a lot of different things that they can do and base stars off of. So with some of these additional factors and studying the star for quite some time, they can see about how long it's been there and they can tell by the color and the brightness of it about how long it's been burning especially compared to some of the other stars and they use that as a frame of reference so much that there is something called the main sequence and this is just a linear path of stars that they found over time that they've noticed goes along this path and with the particular path they can actually gauge other things as well like the star's past some of the chemicals that it used to be made of and possibly even where it's going to be headed in the future the problem that frustrated them also is this star fit nowhere in what they call the main sequence <laughs> boy that 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 really chapped their hides let me tell you what so whenever you're able to look at these things, like earlier I mentioned the color, you're able to tell what type of chemicals are burning because we know that chemicals actually give off different types of color flames whenever they are ignited to a certain degree. So you can try this. I know most people are used to red flames, but you can find green, you can find I think maybe even purple and uh, you know other flames like little B mixtapes or something like that. So whenever they did date the star, they came to the conclusion it somehow was older than the universe. How could that be? That's weird, that's strange. And like I said, science doesn't go for that. So they tried it again and it was still older than the universe <laughs> and they tried it again and it was still older than the universe. Now, every time they did it, it did drop and it did become younger, but it was still older than the universe. And they were like, bro, what, what are we doing? It's like 14 million now, but the universe is still 13.8 billion. So did I say million for 14 million? I, I don't remember. You know what I meant if I messed that up. But they, they kept doing that and going back to the drawing board and realizing it's still showing that it's older. I think recently, that as in you know the past year, 2021, they decided, look, whatever, you're, you're younger than the universe and we're not doing this, okay? We're, we're just not, okay? You're younger than the universe. Stop trying to be edgy. Stop trying to be cool. Get out of here. Not all the video, that's all. I just wanted to throw this little bit of two cents at you. Uh, like I said, super quick video. 
nothing really. You can look up the star if you want to. Again, it's called Methuselah Star. It is located in the Libra constellation, roughly about 200 light years away from us. Now, the light year thing is very interesting to me on how it works. Um, if you don't know how light year works, I'll try to explain it in probably the most basic unscientific explanation I can give it to you. So look out right now. Hopefully it's daylight and the sun should be out there amongst the horizon. Do you see all of the light that is coming from the sun? Well, you are looking at light generated in our atmosphere that is about eight minutes old. So our sun is about eight light minutes away from us. So that means it takes about eight minutes for that light to actually reach us. So we're looking at the light from Methuselah, which is 200 light years away. That light that we are seeing is about 200 years old. So we're looking at it 200 years ago. This always blows my mind when I think about these concepts, because whenever, you know, is it? Yeah. Astronomers. Yeah. That's the one I want to say. Astrology. That That's yeah, that's like the. The Zodiac one. No, not that one. Astronomers, whenever they look out to the stars and they look at other planets, I just think it's so interesting. So if they look and they say, hey, this star is 200,000 light years away that we discovered, they are looking at that star basically 200,000 years ago. It's almost like looking into the past. It's very freaky, which also means whenever they look at certain planets and they don't see anything there, well, they're also looking in the past, so do with that information as you will. But that's about all we have today in the video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. At this point, I'm basically rambling and I'm very good at that. So um, until next time.